Hey guys, sometimes I get some questions at the end of the semester about how do I sort out my final grades and everything. So I just kind of want to run through this kind of quickly with you guys. It should be pretty self-explanatory with everything that's on the syllabus and stuff. Uh, but just again, to remember, your, your final, your class is worth 100 points, 100% 100 of your grade, right? Uh, at the end of the semester, you need a total of 90 points for an A, 80 points for a B, 70 points for a C, 60 points for a D. You get the idea. And so the best way to kind of figure out where you are and what you need to do on the final to get whatever grade you are is just add up your total points up to now. Uh, so remember, the final itself, the IDs and the essays, are worth 30 points. So you add up everything else you've done all semester, your quizzes, your discussion boards, any of the assignments, any of the, you know, it gives you a total point. Even if you look on Canvas, you should be able to find how many points you have. And if you've calculated everything and in, you know, let's say you've got a total of a 63 points and then the final is worth 30, it tells you you need to make 20 seven out of 30, that gives you your 90 points. That's for an A, right? Uh, now, for those of you in History 111, remember there's still like two more points after you take the ID exam that you have to do the Schindler's List, right? So that's two points right there if you can kind of add that into it. For those in History 110, all your points are already calculated by the time you take your, your final ID exam. For those of you in 111, you still have those two points that can make a difference, obviously. Now, sometimes I get questions like, what if I end up the semester with 89 points, right? What's going to happen? Well, look, this is what I tell students. Let's say you start off with 60 points, right? And you score 29 out of 30. That would give you 89 points. Now, 29 out of 30, that's a really, 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 really good exam. And if you're at 89 points and you made 29 out of 30 on the final, you know, I'll probably bump that up to an A. But let's take another scenario. Let's say you have uh, 50 points in the class and you score 19 on the final. Or right? let's say you have, you know, let's say you stop 60 points, right? You have 60 points in the class and you score 19 on the final right and that gives you 79 points well i'm not going to bump that up because 19 out of 30 isn't very good right it shows me you didn't really put much effort there at the end and so that 79 is going to obviously be a c grade um, i tend to be a little bit more lenient for those people who are trying let's say you have um 50 point uh, let's say you have 43 points and you score 26 on the final, right? What does that give you? Let's say, you know, let's say you have 42 points, right? So I'm trying to make this kind of, a, as I'm, I'm talking about it. Uh, let's say you have 42 points, you score 26 on the final. What does that give you? 68. 26 out of 30 is still pretty good. It's like a high B plus. I might even make that a C. But again, you don't want to take any chances, right? Because, you know, also I'll look at missed assignments. So if you're at 68 points and then I go through and I see you have like three, four missed assignments, each one worth a couple points, I'm probably not going to give you the benefit of the doubt, uh, right? But if you've done all the assignments, you've done everything you need to do all semester, it's a tiny little bit of wiggle room at the end of the semester. But for the most part, you know, you want to make sure you just kind of calculate how many points you have. Keep in mind the exam is worth 30 points. The ID is worth 15 points, the five IDs, the essay is worth 15 points. You add all that up, right? You add that up with um, your total score total. And then that gives you a sense of how many points you have in the class. So I hope that's clear. Hope that kind of gives you a little bit of, if you're confused, I, mean, I think it should be pretty clear by everything on the syllabus, but sometimes students like to hear this. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video on it. Uh, again, if you have any individual questions and you're still not sure, I don't know what's going on, just send me an email. I'm happy to explain it to you again, uh, but hopefully that kind of helps, right? So again, um, all right, that's it. That's really, I think, all I needed to tell you on that. Thank you, and good luck on the final. Work hard.